Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to schedule a weekly maintenance. So we are on the maintenance dashboard. So the first uh, for the first screen that shows up when we open the database is the uh, main menu. On the main menu screen, if you want to schedule a, pre a preventive maintenance, you go into the preventive maintenance portal here and it shows you all the uh, current preventive maintenance that are, are due within uh, three days. So I want to schedule a weekly maintenance. Before you schedule a weekly maintenance, you have to make sure that the equipment that you're maintaining is already populated on the equipment list. So here is where you could, you have, we have different ways to enter equipment, but here's one of it. You add the equipment and make sure you have the equipment uh, emails on the equipment as well so you enter the equipment uh, information the serial number model the equipment cat the capacity and all the details even the lockout tag out the uh, location uh, production area all the information and add pictures as well if you want to add pictures if there's pictures and one thing that's very important is you want to add the email you want you want to add make sure you add your email for instance, if you have an email, you have, if, for instance, if you have 10, 10 maintenance individual that are in your department and you want to add their email, you can add their email because the email sends you uh, a notification that that, e that uh, maintenance is due within three days before it's due. So, and also you can separate, separate it by, by putting commerce semicolon sorry so that's how you can add multiple individuals by just adding semicolon on there so I already have uh, some database uh, uh, some equipment on the system already with pictures as you can see on some of this right here as I scroll up I, you can see the equipment that I have here already so when we are done with the equipment by when we're done with adding the equipment we we'll click uh, save and close and then if we want to schedule a weekly maintenance we go in to this portal and we can see that there's already three maintenance that are already uh, in this portal so the reason why these three maintenance haven't fallen off this portal is because the due date today is the third so the due date is not here yet so the due date is the fourth so once the due dates reach uh, this will fall off this uh, this portal and when if you want to find out the PM that's already due that has been completed and that hasn't been completed you can always go back to the dashboard and you can view the complete and incomplete record for now let's just sh let me show you how to schedule a pm a weekly pm so here we go to this drop down and we add the equipment we add the equipment it automatically populates the production area if we want to put in the pm description of course we have to populate it I, I call it the job list here's where you populate the, uh, the, the populate the PM list and you can link it, it link it into whatever equipment so in general this is where you add all the uh, PM list or uh, or a, a the PM description so once you put in the PM description you put in the name of the maintenance personnel. If you have a service company that's coming to perform the maintenance, you can add the service company's uh, information here. To know where you can add uh, the service company name, you can go back to the main menu and go to the site maintenance. The site maintenance is where you add the vendor. So this is where you add all the information. You make the maintenance tech name, the safety stock, the employee's name, production area all that information this is where you do that on the site 
on the site site maintenance. So let's go back to our weekly planned maintenance. So um, after we've added the service company, if we have, have a note that we want to put in, we can put the notes as well. If we have a link on how to perform the maintenance or any additional documentation that you want to add here, you could hyperlink those information on here. It goes straight to your your folder where you could attach a link to it. And then if you have parts that you're using to perform the maintenance, you can add the cost of the parts. And it automatically calculates the total cost. If you spend several, how many hours, two hours, or whatever hours you spent, it will calculate this based on the hourly rate that's given. And, and then after, after you're done, you make sure you put the date. So for instance, if this is a weekly, so if you want to, today's date is the third, but let's assume that today uh, is the 27th because we want to show how the reminder works. So if you put 27, it automatically calculates to seven days because this is a weekly maintenance. If you put 27, it automatically uh, calculates the fourth, uh, which is seven days uh, when this is this will be due. So after you're done, you save. Just one more thing before you're done, make sure you don't click the complete. You click the complete after you've done with the maintenance. After the date is due and you've performed the date the maintenance. That's when you click complete. And after you click complete, then you click to uh, schedule another maintenance. So when you click this, you check this, bo this box, what, what it does is it automatically populates all this information to the Nest uh, portal, the Nest uh, PM. So that way you don't have to put in all this information here. So, but before we do that, let's go and check out the reminder for what we just scheduled. Remember that on the dashboard for the weekly it only says three weekly maintenance. So once we save and close, and then we close this dashboard so it refreshes itself. So we close this form, and then we go back to it. See, when we go back to it, it, come, it changed to four weekly maintenance from three. If you remember, there was three here. Now it changed to four because we are uh, we added one, we scheduled one. So when we go in here, say uh, today is the day we want to complete the maintenance. We can go in here and we can go back to that one that we just scheduled and we could click complete. And then we click here to schedule another one. So once we click here, you notice that it automatically populates all the information down here. So it won't schedule anything till you go in here and you click a date. So, so let's just see how the reminder works because we have clicked the complete. So once we click complete, we close this. And if we once we close this form to refresh, we will notice that this will change from four to three because we checked complete. So let's do that. Close the form and then we'll go back. You see the weekly is now three. And one more thing. What is the purpose of this timer? The purpose of this timer is to calculate uh, every five seconds that it takes to that every five seconds that you hear it automatically sends out an email a one-time email three days before each pm is due it sends out that email telling giving you a reminder so I, I believe you has already sent that email so let's open up my email so as you can see in this email it's telling me that I have sent out, it's just sent out this email saying that I have a weekly planned email and it gives me the equipment, the tax description, the due date, and all that information. So the good thing about this database is it sends you an email 
three days before the PM is due, just so it gives you a reminder. So if you want to view a completed um, PM or an incomplete PM, weekly PM, you click here, it gives you this screen, and then when you check this box, when you check this box, it shows you the PM that has been completed, and when you uncheck this box, it shows you PM that hasn't been completed. That's in case you want to print it out or write a report about it. So you click close. If you want to see all this, all the imp PM information in a, a, a spreadsheet format, you could click here and it gives you every information in the spreadsheet format. So in case you have an audit or you want to see the past records, this is where you get it. So let's close this and um, what am I missing? I think that's all for the weekly, how to schedule the weekly maintenance. So if you want to know how you can get this database, I have uh, the, the description below, the link below, and you could uh, click the link to find out more information on how to get this database. Thank you.